we'll come back let's uh, read this I will uh, put it in my uh, India video Two thousand and twenty two Pakistan floods. From the fifteenth of June to October, two thousand and twenty two, floods in Pakistan killed one thousand seven hundred and thirty nine people and caused three point two trillion, fourteen point eight billion dollars of damage and three point three trillion, fifteen point two billion dollars of economic losses. The immediate causes of the floods were heavier than usual monsoon rains and melting glaciers that followed a severe heat wave, both of which are linked to climate change. On the 25th of August, 2022, Pakistan declared a state of emergency because of the flooding. The flooding was the world's deadliest flood since the 2020 South Asian floods and described as the worst in the country's history. It was also recorded as one of the costliest natural disasters in world history. Background, edit. Further information, climate change in Pakistan. The Minister of Climate Change of Pakistan, Sherry Riman, said that the provinces of Sindh and Balochistan had received more rainfall than the August average, with 784% and 500% more, respectively. Higher than average monsoon rains were also recorded in India and Bangladesh. The Indian Ocean is one of the fastest warming oceans in the world, warming by an average of 1 degree Celsius, 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit, while worldwide temperatures are now at 1.2 degrees Celsius, 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit, above pre-industrial temperatures, oceans in general are at around 0.7 degrees Celsius. 1.3 degrees Fahrenheit. The rise in sea surface temperatures is believed to increase monsoon rainfall. In addition, southern Pakistan experienced back-to-back -back heat waves in May and June, which were record-setting and themselves made more likely by climate change. These created a strong thermal low that brought heavier rains than usual. The heat waves also triggered glacial flooding in Gilgit Baltistan. Pakistan contributes less than 1% of global greenhouse gas emissions, but is one of the places most vulnerable to climate change. A study by an international team of climate scientists says that global heating made the flooding up to 50% worse and future floods more likely. However, some of the contributors to the severity of the flooding are local to the country. Deforestation in Pakistan has also been a factor worsening the floods. Impact, edit. 1,739 people died, including 647 children, and an additional 12,867 were injured. Over 2.1 million people were left homeless because of the floods. These are the deadliest floods in Pakistan since 2010, when nearly 2,000 died in flooding, and the deadliest in the world since the 2020 South Asian floods. On the 29th of August, Sherry Riman, the Minister of Climate Change, claimed that one-third of the country was underwater, and there was no dry land to pump the water out, adding that it was a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Her claim received widespread media coverage. In contrast, the UNOSAT United Nations Satellite Center reported that 75,000 square kilometers had been flooded, around 9% of Pakistan with USED stating a maximum flood water extent of 32,800 square miles, around 10% of Pakistan. A BBC report estimated that around 10-12% of Pakistan was flooded. The total area of standing flood waters peaked between July and August at approximately 32,800 square miles, 84,952 kilometers. Agricultural fields were also devastated by the flooding. 
The floods affected 33 million people in Pakistan and destroyed 897,014 houses and damaged another 1,391,467. 1 1,164,270 livestock have been killed, most of them in the province of Balochistan while destruction to 13,115 kilometers, 8,149 mi, of roads and 439 bridges has impeded access across flood-affected areas. Over 22,000 schools were damaged or destroyed. Government officials estimated at least $30 billion of reconstruction costs and economic damage, equivalent to about 10% of GDP. A needs assessment led by the Ministry of Planning, Development and Special Initiatives and conducted jointly with the Asian Development Bank, ADB, the European Union, EU, the United Nations agencies with technical facilitation by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and the World Bank concluded that damages exceed $14.9 billion. Economic losses were estimated to reach about $15.2 billion, and estimated needs for rehabilitation and reconstruction in a resilient way are at least $16.3 billion. Aid workers warned that lack of clean drinking water caused an increase in waterborne diseases, namely diarrhea, cholera, dengue, and malaria. Skin infections caused by wet conditions have also been widely reported. Signed, Edit. Floods in signed killed 799 people and injured 8,422. Among the 338 children killed were three who died when the roof of their house collapsed in Khand Kot. Ten million people have been displaced in signed and 57,496 houses were severely damaged or completely destroyed, mostly in the Hyderabad division, and 830 cattle were killed. 6,200 kilometers. 1,540,000 acres of farmland have been swept away by the floods. The Larkana and Sukkur divisions were severely affected by the floods. The Rimayurwa and Kerpanathan Shah were inundated. The floods have turned the Indus River into a lake 100 kilometers, 62 mi, wide. The towns of Jahai and Mehar were saved by their residents making ring bands around their towns. In Jacobabad, which has been called the world's hottest city, more than 40,000 people are living in temporary shelters with limited access to food, with 19 dead from the flooding as of the 31st of August. During the floods, Lake Mangsha overflowed, and in September, 2022 efforts were made to assist its drainage. In the Dadu district, flood water reportedly submerged 300 villages. The signed provincial government confirmed, on 16 September, 2022, 588 cases of malaria, with a further 10,604 suspected cases, as well as 17,977 cases of diarrhea, and 20,064 of skin disease. Since the 1st of July, a total of 2,300,000 patients have been treated for malaria in field and mobile hospitals. A high of 90,000 cases of diarrhea were reported in a single day on the 1st of September. Balochistan, edit. Flooding in Balochistan killed 336 people. In many areas, Rainwater infiltrated many homes and made them uninhabitable. Many families were displaced. 426,897 houses have either been damaged or completely destroyed, and 1,230 kilometers, 304,000 acres, of crops were lost. An estimated half million livestock have also been killed. According to the Relief Commission of Provincial Disaster Management, 
Balochistan's capital Quetta has been declared a disaster area due to rains, and an emergency had been declared in the province. Many organizations took part in relief, including Balochistan Youth Action Committee. Khyber Pak Chunkhua, edit. 309 people died and 600,000 others were displaced by floods. Among them were five children in Upper Dir district. They had been returning home from school before they were swept away by the floods and drowned. 326,897 houses were damaged due to floods and landslides, and 7,742 cattle died from collapsing sheds. In Swap district, a newly built hotel had collapsed due to excessive flooding. The southwestern part of the province was previously affected by the June 2022 Afghanistan earthquake. In Lower Kahistan district, five people stranded in a hill torrent were swept away, four of them were killed, while the other one was rescued. In Balako, eight nomads were killed due to flooding in a tributary of the Kuna River. Twelve people were also killed in flooding in different areas of Dira Ismail Khan due to flash floods from hill torrents. Gilgit Baltistan, edit. Twenty-three people died, four are missing, and floods badly affected the Karakoram Highway. Roads were closed for traffic at several places due to landslides. The districts of Giza, Naga, Diyama, Ganj, and Astor were the worst affected. 420 homes were destroyed and 740 were damaged due to floods and landslides. Meanwhile, the S1 strategic highway also suffered erosion due to high water flows in the Indus River. The Ishkaman Valley Road was cut off at Gukash due to flooding in the Ishkaman River. A bridge at Khorbat in Ganj district was also flooded. Valley roads and two bridges in Naga district were swept away by floods. There are also reports of damage in Kana and Bona in Diyama district. As of the 26th of August, most parts of the villages in Giza were destroyed by the flood. Among these are Buba Valley, Gakach, and Gulmuti. Residents were asked to evacuate the flood-affected areas. River levels are rising to an extremely dangerous height. Punjab, edit. In Punjab, 223 people died and 3,858 others suffered injuries. In Tortsa Sharif, many settlements were submerged in flood water. In the historical town of Mangadatta, west of Tortsa Sharif, Hundreds of houses and livestock were swept away by flood waters. 7,200 kilometers, 1,780,000 acres of farmland were also lost. Residents of communities adjacent to flooded rivers began to evacuate, with most families moving away. Most of the families have moved to safer places on foot and camels while carrying only essential supplies as roads and bridges were washed away. Azad Kashmir, edit. 48 people died by flooding in Pakistan-administered Kashmir. On the 31st of July, in Poonch district, 10 people died and 4 were injured when a roof collapsed on top of them. Five tourists from Mianwali were swept away and later confirmed to have been killed in Neelam Valley on the 19th of August. Response, edit. National, edit. The Prime Minister, Shebas Sharif, who had decided to spearhead the relief operations in the wake of massive floods, met international partners on the 25th of August who pledged to provide $500 million to the country to mitigate the havoc wreaked by flooding. Army officers, federal cabinet members, and senators will donate their one-month salary for the flood relief fund. PTCL Group, Pakistan's largest telecom and internet services provider, announced 1.75 billion or US dollar 8 million, to support flood relief efforts and those affected by the floods. The chairman of the Pakistan Tariki Insif, 
PTI, party and former Prime Minister, Imran Khan, held a three-hour-long telethon to raise funds for flood victims and received 500 crores, or US dollar 22.5 million, in pledges for flood relief. On the 30th of August, the government of Pakistan announced $170 million allocation to flood victims, which will be dispersed through the Binaza Income Support Program, BISP, as part of Pakistan Flood Response Plan 2022. The Pakistani embassies in China and Turkey have also set up fundraisers requesting flood relief donations from locals. Pakistan Telecommunication Authority PTA, introduced the 9,999 SMS code for flood relief donations to enable consumers to donate their funds through mobile phone text to support the flood victims. The consumers would be required to write fund and send it to the 9,999 short code to donate. 10, or US sent 4.5, to contribute to the Prime Minister's Floods Relief Fund. The government has been accused of inaction on relief and rescue operations, with local officials allegedly hoarding humanitarian aid. Incidents of looting due to lack of aid have emerged, with several NGOs halting relief operations after their trucks carrying relief goods were looted. In Sukkur, police booked 100 flood-affected persons under terrorism charges for protesting against the lack of food and relief when Shebas Sharif and Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhatto visited to assess flood damage on the 26th of August. International, edit. International organizations, edit. One the World Bank allocated $370 million in relief aid to Pakistan. The World Bank also allowed $2 billion from current projects in Pakistan to be reallocated to relief aid. To United Nations the UN has allocated $3 million from its Central Emergency Response Fund, SURF, to help the affected areas. On 30 August, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres announced an appeal for $160 million in emergency funds to aid Pakistan's flood victims. On 9-10 September, Guterres visited Pakistan to show solidarity with flood victims and appeal for other countries to provide more help. Three World Health Organization, the WHO allocated $10 million to emergency health relief efforts. For the International Rescue Committee deployed emergency response teams in Pakistan to provide immediate assistance. Countries, edit. One European Union, the EU announced that it is providing immediate provision of 350,000 euros, nearly 76 million, to Pakistan for humanitarian assistance. On the 28th of August, it mobilized another 2.35 million euros in emergency humanitarian funding. To United States of America, on the 18th of August, United States Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, announced a $1 million disaster aid to Pakistan to overcome challenges caused by flooding. On the 30th of August, the United States announced another grant of $30 million. On September 5, U.S. Department of State Counselor Derek Chollett announced a visit to Pakistan with a high-level delegation for a few days to provide further help to Pakistan. When in Pakistan, the United States created a massive humanitarian air bridge for flood victims. The air bridge made it possible for 20 U.S. C-17 military aircraft to easily transport food and shelter material to Pakistan worth $2.2 million. On the 9th of September, the United States announced a commitment of a total of $53.1 million in U.S. aid to Pakistan. $50.1 million for urgent flood relief and $3 million to bolster disaster resilience. 3. Saudi Arabia, on the 22nd of August, Saudi Arabia, through case relief, started delivering 100 emergency relief trucks, K-1, 
carrying 10,000 food packages weighing 950 tons to 17 flood-ravaged districts in Pakistan. This would benefit more than 70,000 people. For China, on the 25th of August, a spokesman of the Chinese Foreign Ministry in a statement expressed their deep sympathies to the flood-affected victims and offered sincere condolences to the families of the victims. Emergency humanitarian aid, including 25,000 tents and relief materials, is being dispatched forthwith while 4,000 tents, 50,000 blankets, 50,000 tarpaulins, and other reserves provided by China under the framework of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridors, CPIC, Social and People's Livelihood Cooperation have been put into the front line for relief. The Red Cross Society of China has already provided emergency cash assistance of $300,000 to the Pakistan Red Crescent Society. On the 30th of August, China announced an assistance grant of 100 million yuan, US dollar 14.5 million. On the 3rd of September, China announced another assistance package of 300 million yuan, US dollar 43.5 million. Five United Kingdom, on the 27th of August, the government of the United Kingdom announced 1.5 million pounds flood support fund for Pakistan. On the 1st of September, the UK government announced a further £15 million in assistance for Pakistan. The Disasters Emergency Committee also raised £8 million in just 24 hours. 6. Azerbaijan On the 27th of August, Azerbaijan announced it would provide US$2 million in aid to Pakistan. 7. Ireland On the 28th of August, the Irish Minister of Foreign Affairs, Simon Coveney, said in a post on Twitter that Ireland has committed an initial contribution of €500,000 in emergency humanitarian funding to Pakistan. 8. Canada, on 29 August, Canada announced $5 million funding for humanitarian assistance to Pakistan. On 13 September, Canada announced bringing the total aid to $30 million and a $3 million matching fund. Nine United Arab Emirates, on the 29th of August, the UAE opened an air bridge to transport humanitarian aid from the UAE to Pakistan, pledging 20 aircraft sorties of relief goods for flood victims worth $50 million. On the 9th of September, UAE Minister of Tolerance and Coexistence Nahayan bin Mubarak Al Nahayan announced aid of $10 million for relief and rehabilitation of the flood-stricken people of Pakistan, for which Prime Minister of Pakistan Shebas Sharif has thanked him. 1. Dubai, Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, ruler of Dubai, announced an additional 50 million AD, US dollar 13.5 million, aid package for flood victims. 10. Qatar, on the 29th of August, Qatar announced that they will send 21,000 food baskets, 5,000 tents, and 5,000 personal hygiene kits to Pakistan, through their Qatar Fund for Development. Emir of Qatar Tamim bin Hamad Al Dhani also donated humanitarian assistance for flood victims, which includes a field hospital with a 93-member staff. In addition, Qatar established an air bridge with the Qatari Amiri Air Force to provide urgent assistance. 11. India, on the 29th of August, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi extended heartfelt condolences to the families of those who were affected by the floods and said that he hopes for an early restoration of normalcy. Offers of material assistance and aid declined by the Pakistani government. 12. Germany, on the 30th of August, Germany announced food aid to 1,000 families for two months in Pakistan's Lasbala district. Additionally, Germany also announced food aid and hygiene sets to a total of 60,000 people. On the 9th of September, Germany announced a further donation of 1 million euros to Pakistan.
On the 15th of September, Germany announced an additional 10 million euros of aid for a total of 24 million. On the 27th of September, Germany announced that the total aid would be raised to 56 million euros, 54.35 million dollars. 13 South Korea, on the 30th of August, South Korea announced $300,000 in relief aid to Pakistan. 14 Bangladesh, on the 30th of August, 2022, Prime Minister of Bangladesh Sheikh Hasina announced that her country will provide aid to flood victims in the Balochistan province of Pakistan. Bangladesh's Ministry of Disaster Management and Relief has allocated 14 million US dollar 140,000 to provide relief items to Pakistan including 10 tons of biscuit, 10 tons of dry cake, 100,000 water purification tablets, 50,000 packets of oral saline, 5,000 mosquito nets, 2,000 blankets, and 2,000 tents. 15 Australia, on the 31st of August, the Australian government announced it will provide $2 million in humanitarian aid to Pakistan. 16 Japan, on the 31st of August, the government of Japan announced it will provide emergency relief goods to Pakistan, containing tents and plastic sheets through Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. On September the 6th, Japan announced a new emergency grant of $7 million to support the people of Pakistan. 17. Turkey, the Turkish sent relief goods to Pakistan, including 10,000 tents, 50,000 food parcels, 50,000 hygiene materials, and 10,000 parcels of baby food in the first stage. 18 Norway, on the 31st of August, the government of Norway announced 25 million Norwegian krona, US dollar 2.5 million, in emergency relief and food security efforts. On the 8th of September, Norway announced an increase to their flood relief contribution to 80 million Norwegian krona, 8 US dollars and 15 cents million. 19 France, on the 31st of August, France, on the request of President Emmanuel Macron, announced they will donate 83 high-capacity water pumps, 200 family tents, and survival, hygiene, and protective equipment to Pakistan. France will also deploy doctors and nurses to the country and will ship a 50-meter-long Bailey Bridge that could be swiftly deployed in the affected areas. 20 Sweden, on the 31st of August, Sweden need a 30 million Swedish krona, US dollar 2.8 million, donation to impacted communities. 21 Iran, on the 1st of September, Iran sent 1,000 tents, 4,000 blankets, and 2,000 mosquito nets. 22 Denmark, on the 1st of September, Denmark announced 10 million DKK, 1 US dollar and 35 cents million, in emergency assistance. Denmark also sent a water purification module that can convert contaminated water into drinking water and produce 120,000 liters of clean water per day, along with 10 Danish specialists. 23 Jordan, on the 7th of September, Jordan provided urgent medical assistance to Pakistan. The Royal Jordanian Air Force delivered medical supplies, tents, and food. 24 Indonesia, on the 26th of September, the Indonesian government sent $1 million in financial assistance. 32 tons of aid in the form of tents, medicines, groceries and others were sent. Indonesia also dispatched 29 medical teams which included paramedics, pediatricians, nutritionists, dermatologists and pharmacists to help victims affected by the floods. 25 Belgium, in a response to Pakistan's appeals for international aid for flood relief, Belgium will provide Pakistan 300 tents to shelter a total of 1,800 people. 26. 
Italy, in a view to contributing to the international humanitarian response. The Italian Agency for Development Cooperation has allocated a 500,000 euro, US dollar 485,000, emergency contribution to the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, IFRC, in Pakistan. The contribution will enable the IFRC to support the Pakistan Red Crescent in delivering emergency aid to the most vulnerable population segments. 27 Maldives. The people of Maldives are collected money. Some of Maldivian broadcasting channels, including state media P.